So first of all, I will mark all categories as inactive. So I will first create a function for that. Mark all categories inactive. So I will run a map function through the categories. Map, modify the items, all items. I will return that category. Okay, that's good. Now I will call this function mark all categories inactive. Now I will mark the click category as active category. So let's try this maybe category dot active two. So it is working now. So Next, I will add the search icon. Now, as I also need the icon, so I will <coughs> import the module for icon that is that icon module. So, here I will add the icon. Okay, icon is added. <coughs> I will add some space. I will also add a delete icon. So delete button should stay disable until user select the checkboxes. I would also like to add the tooltip that would look nice. So,
Tooltip is now working fine. Let's add tooltip on the delete icon as well. I think as delete icon is disabled, that is why it is not showing the tooltip. We can remove it for now. All right. Next, I want if I select the tasks, the delete button should be visible, should be enabled. So, how to do that? I can. I will create a variable that will that would store the items that would be selected on click. So I would call it selected tasks dot length greater than zero. If selection if selected items are more than zero, then that means we oh I mean less than one then we should disable it, otherwise we can enable it, so that user can delete. Selection changed. <laughs> Task. I will pass the event to see what we have inside. JSON dot stringify. Let's see what we have inside of this event. Hmm. Nothing is showing. So let's see if we have an error. Okay. We can't use it directly here. Instead, I will just use console.log. Thank you. 